for love. Fellow travelers search for it in all the forbidden corners of the world and are never the wiser but for a taste of it, congealing in water droplets upon the ripe flesh of apples swelling in their growth and trembling in the blushing morn of the chill wind. The invisible word held pregnant in the paws of those caught suddenly without the inner provision that makes the thorn-strewn path all the more sweeter to those engaged in its arduous passage, oozes, pearls, through the pores of the sky and all other places like stars. The ache that no medicine prepared from the herbs of the field can soothe is within us still and can only abate upon our decision to dwell somehow within the warmth left in the last spot by the person dwelling there before she arose to answer the calling of her heart. The tree-lined streets boast their well-lit cafes and restaurants and sumptuous fare and still the faces looking out the windows from beneath and above the tablecloths and dining room tables are the same as those passing without, mirroring this hunger for love.